There are lots of ways to raise mealworms, but I decided to see what kind of production I would get with a very easy, low maintenance, and inexpensive setup. I used a container that held about 16 cups or 3.7 liters uh, with about one inch of cocoa fiber substrate. I added 50 to 60 mealworms and I fed them mostly chick starter crumble which is grain based and has a good amount of protein and is fortified with vitamins and minerals. The main water source was water crystals which I buy dry and hydrate myself which makes them very economical. The lid allowed for plenty of ventilation. I used chiffon fabric. I occasionally added slices of apple, sweet potato, etc. for variety in the diet, but not frequently enough to be a consistent source of moisture. Though the cocoa fiber was slightly moist when I first set up the culture, it was soon dry to the touch and remained that way most of the time. That's really about all I did. Soon the mealworms pupated and then became beetles. I didn't sort or remove pupae or beetles. I know people often do this or use tiered self-sorting setups to keep the life stages separate in an effort to reduce cannibalism, which can be a real risk, and thereby increase production. About 3.5 months after setting up the culture, I used a strainer to see how many mealworms this simple technique would produce. As you can see, there are hundreds of mealworms here, and there were more smaller larvae and undoubtedly eggs in the cocoa fiber that this strainer left behind. It looks like this method produces a good number of mealworms. I've now moved these mealworms into a larger container. I see no reason why this method won't work on a larger scale if I need more worms. At some point, I would like to compare the production of this setup with one of the more elaborate self-sorting methods, but it looks like this very easy culturing technique will produce more than enough mealworms for my needs. If you raised mealworms before, what is your preferred culture technique? Please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.